Hey guys, welcome to MS Magic. I'm Bon Play, and today we're gonna to talk about the chopper. So this is our version of the arm chopper, the classic. I love arm chopper. As a professional magician, I've been using this for more than 10 years. And I own a few version of it and I find that every version has the advantage and disadvantage. That's why we made our own version. It's made out of black walnuts. The wood are very solid and very thick. So it makes these props very durable. At the same time, the blades is made out of stainless steel. And also all the screws are made out of copper, which provide a very elegant look. And it makes the whole props look like an antique. If you say that this prop is made 20 years ago, I think the audience would believe you. So is this trick safe? It looks like a very dangerous magic. It is 100% safe if you operate it correctly. There's a lot of version in the market. There's some that uh, the blade can't take out. I personally love the version that you can take out the blade because I find it's very important to display the blade before the performance happens. Usually I take it out and I talk about uh, the blade, you know, it's magical blade, and I will take a carrot and chop it up in front of the audience. This will enhance the effect of the magic, which I find very important, because if your blade is always stuck inside the holder, which is kind of suspicious, but if you can take it out, display a normal blade, and you place it back in, this is much better and natural. So I prefer this presentation, that's why we make our chopper in this way. So let's talk about presentation. Uh, some of you guys may not like this effect because it has just one effect. Yes, chop and that's it. But every magic need a good presentation. For me, this is the perfect interactive magic. It can be horror. It can be comedy and it's so useful and it looks very grand in a way. It looks like an antique when you bring it up on stage. It looks like something not cheap. It looks very expensive and classy, which fits my performance style. My presentation is more like a stand-up comedy. It's not about just the magic. You see, magic effect is effect, you know, uh, it has entertainment value. But it's not just magic. Gags, comedies, those kind of things also has entertainment value. So we're going to use a lot of those comedy elements on the chopper, especially in my presentation. So I'm going to talk about my presentation on this chopper. I will present this as a magical blade. This blade can chop everything except living things. So I'm going to need an audience to help me. I'm going to do agreements about if anything happens to the audience, I will have no responsibility at all. So there's two gags I always use on the chopper is which hand you use most. So they will say, for example, right hand, and I will say, okay, then we're going to use your left hand. Just in case anything happens, you still got your right hand to use. That's a gag works for any situation. And when they place their hand inside, I will have them, the other hand, hold on to their left hand. I will say that um, just in case anything happens, your hand will not fall on the floor and then we will make everything messy because the backstage is going to spend a lot of time cleaning this up. So hold tight on your hand, okay? So this is another gag. This has two effects. One, it's funny. At the same time, it presents the visual image in their mind. This will increase the expectation, you know, the excitement before the effect happens. They will visualize the image of the hand fall off. You see, sometimes magic is not just about what you see, what you are saying, and what they imagine is also very important. So that few gags include comedy, visualizing in their mind, and also increasing expectation. And I will do other gags during this moment, depends on the situation, depends on the audience. So the weakest point about the arm chopper is the moment of the magic effect happens. When you chop down, you can see the carrot is chopped, but the hand will remain the same because the audience will not be harmed. So it's not exactly visualizing the effect. The audience is difficult to give reaction. That's why I always add one thing is a warm up to this magic effect. 
I would say that to celebrate the braveness of my audience, when you chop down everyone, give him the biggest applause possible, okay? And then, uh, no matter how messy the situation is and how much he is screaming, ignore all of them. Just give your biggest applause, okay? Then I warm them up. One, two, three. Let's give it a go, okay? And then they will give background applause. And now I'm gonna ask my spectator, and uh, is that good enough for you? And he will answer, maybe not, maybe. And I will push one more time. Let's give you something even better, okay? And then big round applause, and then add scream, those kind of thing to warm up our audience for this effect. And I will emphasize one more time, no matter what happens after we chop down, give him the biggest, warmest applause possible. So in that case, everyone know what to do when you chop down because the audience sometimes said chop down, they don't know what happens. So now we told them what to do and they will react in that way. And then we're gonna chop, boom, one, two, three. And of course, we're gonna give tension, or like, okay, one, two, three, chop, not like that. In fact, we're gonna click it up and then one. Two. For the third one, we're gonna give it some stop and three, and then we're gonna punch it like that. Uh, and the audience, we're gonna be shocked. At the same time, I'm gonna point to my audience. Everyone know what to do, and then you give us a big round of applause. And then the spectator take out their hand like that, and I will pick up their hand and then get the applause one more time. This make a very smooth transition from the effect to the final presentation. Okay, so the audience know what to do at the same time the spectator feel very comfortable uh, they, When it takes his hand out, the applause is not stopping at that point and This will create a very good reaction and this audience will be very satisfied And I'll give them the carrots as a souvenir and they go back to their seats And uh, this is my way of presenting the chopper uh, If you use this efficiently, this will be a killer in a show Everyone will remember this trick. It got so many comedy stuff in there. It got a lot of gags. It's funny at the same time. The outlook of this trick and the danger involved, the visualizing in their minds, really make this trick burn into their memory. This is something that really they can remember and talk about the whole night. As I said before, I love the chopper a lot, and I hope you guys can try it out. If you have never tried this kind of magic, don't worry, it is very easy to handle. You have only one secret move to do, and once you do that, everything will be just fine. And uh, your audience will be safe, you will be safe, it's funny. And of course, this will need some practice, but not practice on the magic technique, but the presentation. You need to practice your script, you have to write them down and you test it out with your audience if it works for you because talk show is all about try and error not every line fits your personality you will need to find your lines there are so many videos on the internet that you can find try those things out and then slowly develop your own performance style your script and your gags and you may create something new oh yes one more thing if you chop it with the carrots uh, make sure you clean it especially the blade make sure you clean it after you use it because a carrot has sugar on it it's sweet it will attract you know, ants so make sure you clean it with a wet towel okay just clean up and clean up all the you know messy stuff so make sure you clean up after you use it so that's the chopper thank you very much hope you guys will enjoy and we are ms magic make sure you check it out our youtube channel and subscribe and our facebook page and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.